Hello, I'm back, Luter FM, with another episode of the Socio Youth Only Challenge. Um, in the last episode, we leave ourselves as fourth in the league um, after 21 games played, 12 wins, 4 draws, 5 losses with 40 points. We've got Marseille, Lens, and PSG ahead of us, but we could, we should be in line to get European place at least. Um, so European football for Socio in the second season in second season in League One is pretty impressive. We've got quite a few games left. Um, in this episode, we're playing Auxerre, Marseille, Lyon, Brest, and maybe Lens. So we'll see how we get on. But anyway, I'll be back in a second with the first part of the episode. So, as I said in the intro, first game of the episode is versus Auxerre. We've got Kofi up front, so hopefully that's a good sign. Let's just have a look at the league table. Marseille, Lens, so we've got to keep an eye on Marseille and Lens, basically. Uh, first highlight of the game goes to Auxerre. Hope you all had a nice weekend. I had a relatively decent weekend. I had um, I went and saw Cadbury Athletic play. They lost five one, but their goal was very good. The the the, the player hit a long shot um, and lobbed the goalkeeper from about thirty five yards or something. So it was a pretty impressive goal. So it was quite entertaining. I got to know a guy called Kevin who's been watching Cadbury Athletic now for about seven seasons, and. Um, he was talking to me about the how they've been doing over the years and then he's also because he's originally from Gloucester and moved to Bristol so he was telling me about the team he supports which is Bristol Rovers and um, so we we're having a nice little chat about that and other football things happening and stuff I was telling him about the woes of being a Man United fan uh, <laughs> but yeah like I said very good and I also managed to win some money on a bet so that was good so overall it was pretty good and then when I seen my mates on Saturday evening and then yesterday i didn't really do anything we just me and my girlfriend just chilled out for a bit so it was quite a decent weekend overall not too bad at all let me know in the comment section what you did this weekend anything exciting let me know anyway nil nil at the moment just gonna so marseille oh what have i done here oh no what have i done here oh there we go Right, so we just look at, we're going to watch Marseille and Lens latest scores. So they're not playing, so we don't really need to worry about them at the moment. Right, free kick to Auxerre. Good save by our goal, even though I think that was going to go wide, personally. They've got a corner. Good save, good confident catch there by Popal. Might as well put this back to league table then. I think we're going to struggle to catch up with Lens maybe, but I think we can definitely overtake Marseille and end the season third. But we'll see. There's there's still loads of games left, so anything can happen. We could. Oh, yes, Ian. Go on, Angeli. Right, Patricio needs to come off. But yeah, anything can happen. We could go completely down the table or we could skyrocket. Ideally, I would, I mean, in an ideal world, I'd like to finish second so we can class ourselves as second best in the league because obviously PSG are an absolute juggernaut of a team. They've got Mbappe, Masala. It's going to be very difficult to topple this team. I took you off. I definitely took him off. Anyway, right. One nil up. Doing well. I'll happily take a one nil win here. Ah, I shouldn't have said anything, should I? One one. Picking up the bloody injuries here, aren't we? Angeli needs to come off. Azanga needs to come off because he's playing rubbish.
soon as I get a chance, I'm going to ask them to demand. I'm going to demand more. There we go. I watched um, I watched the Zealand video about his thoughts on the delay of Football Manager Twenty Five and the the removing feature of the international management. And um, he told me something I didn't know that apparently him and Work the Space um, said that they they seen a job advertisement for oh nearly um, for people from for job advertisement from um, Zega Sci Games. Um, to work on a unity on the unity interface and that was about three or four years ago so i'm a bit a bit more annoyed than i was before because i know that it is um a brand new interface that they need to get used to but they've had like three or four years apparently by the sounds of it they've been probably working on it for years and yet they're still having problems which really does worry me about the state of football manager 25 but we'll see. Worst comes to worst, I'll just keep playing Football Manager uh, Football Manager Twenty Four because I probably will. Um, I'll probably keep playing Football Manager Twenty Four anyway because if they get rid of international management, if I want to do a like a like most like a lot of my saves, I like to do team and national team dual management saves. So I like to be a team in that country and also the national team manager. And now I can't do that in this uh, on Football Manager 25. So I'm really not happy about that. Not to, I'm not bothered at all about women's football. No offense, I just, I, it's nothing. I'm, I don't have an issue with it. Fair play to anybody that likes watching it and stuff. But I don't watch it. So I mean, I watch the occasional England women's game if it's a big tournament. But that's about it, really. Um, I have no interest in doing that. So to remove international, if you get, you said to me, well, what would you prefer, women's football or international? management i would pick international management but apparently only 5.6 percent of the people play international management so that's why they've got rid of it so yeah a bit of a shame they said they will bring it in back in football manager uh, 2026 though so we've only got to put up with it for 12 months but it does ruin a lot of my saves because a lot of my careers are like i said i like to manage the national teams i am just a minority though According to the statistics, statistics. Hang on, let me get this right. Statistics of Sci Games and Sega. Right, let's just do that. Right, we got Marseille coming up. We beat Marseille. We leapfrog them. Leapfrog past them in the league. We are neck and neck on points with them and Monaco. So we've got to keep an eye on the Monaco game. I nearly clicked on instant result. Then sorry, force of habit. Whenever I do an offline save lately, I, I tend to just do instant result and do it that way. Right, latest scores. So, uh, again, we're in, that none of the teams we need to concentrate on are playing. So, we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully, we can beat Marseille. I'll be a bit worried if they beat us, though. Oof. Oh, okay. Interesting. We got a penalty. See what VAR says first. Penalty awarded. Get in. Kofi. Good goal. Good penalty by him. 1 0. 18 goal of the season for him. Lovely jubbly. Right. Lizanga. Thumbs off. It's got Dumas on. One nil up against Marseille. Just gone past them now as third, but there's plenty of the game left. One nil. One nil. One nil. One nil. Bit of a boring game for you neutrals. Not really much has happened. We've got the ball now, though. Dumas manages to use a bit of skill to get past the player. Passes it back to Lebrun. Oh, lovely over-the-top ball. Kofi does manage to get past the players. 
does a little bit of a trickly dance there and shoots and scores. 19th goal of the season for Kofi. Second goal of the game. Pretty good to be in this position at half time. I've just jinxed myself, everyone. They're going to score here. Oh, no. We're playing really well. Oh, I've jinxed myself again. Ah, see. Should never, ever get too cocky in this game. Right. We're still winning, though. Let's try and demand a bit more, even though we're winning 2-1. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Good, by, good interception there by Zerbo. Pinto passes it to Dumas, back to Pinto, to Zerbo, Thierry. Oh, that was a bit lucky. I don't think that's going to be allowed personally. Dumas was offside. But we'll see. You never know. Yeah, goal disallowed. Right. Didot needs to come off. He's not playing very well. So we'll put on Tunia, who I think is making his debut for us. I could be wrong. I will have a look in a second. Free kick to Marseille. Headed. He just about did enough with that. Good save by the goalie in the first place. Right, Bastien will just have to carry on because we can't take him off. Thierry nicks the ball off the throw in. Nice passing going on here. Lovely jump. There you go. Oh, all the way across the pin to use up that space. Uh, Yeah, okay. That was a bit misplaced, but anyway. Uh, Dumas. Nice to see... Um, New youngster getting on the score sheet. I think we can breathe a little bit easier now, unless they score in a second, which they might do. Here we go. That's why do I open my... Oh, no. Mason Greenwood scored. Ugh. We all hate him, everyone. Boo. How's he done? Eight goals, nine goals so far this season, including that one he just scored. How old is he? Oh yeah, 28. Only one England car. Haha, <laughs> unlucky. Um, yeah, not exactly set the world on fire. Um, oh, he went to bloody hell. So he, went, he was obviously Getafe for a couple of years. And went to Barcelona on a free. Didn't really nothing. Oh, what a shame. Uh, went on loan to Lille. Literally scored one goal in 23 games. And then went to Marseille and then signed for Marseille. Which is so weird because he ended up going to Marseille in real life. But yeah, we don't like him, Mason Greenwood. In fact, I need to make sure I'm not marking him. Right, we got a free kick. Pinto to Tonya. Shot gets blocked. Dumas again. What a... Oh, that own goal. But that was Dumas that had the shot, though. So uh, we'll kind of class that as his goal. Definitely game over now. It'll be too late for him to... I don't... Well... Oh my God, why do I keep saying this? <sighs> okay, if they score here now, I'm just going to shut the hell up for the rest of the game. <laughs> just give him a penalty. What are you doing, lad? What are you doing? <sighs> FM just doesn't want you to win, does it? So we'll score this. Who is it? Line up. Is it Greenwood? I oh, know. We, we don't mind you, Gittens. Oh, good save. Get in. Go on, goalie. Pop out. You do actually know how to save penalties. Oh, no. I'm getting I'm getting pop out confused with my uh, my other goalie when I did that Georgia save. I did a save when I was um, uh, Dynamo Tillabussi and the Georgia national team. And my goalkeeper, Loria, was just absolutely rubbish at saving penalties. So I was getting I was getting them confused. Anyway, good result. 
Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, so we've got Leon now. Let's see how we get on. Uh, Block is on the right. So I think Isanga needs to go. I just don't think he's good enough, to be honest. I think he's just holding potential good players back. Oh my God, that is a terrible start to the game. Leon have already scored from the first highlight of the game. Right, I've berated the players. Hopefully that'll help in some way. Thierry's took a slight knock, but I think he can carry on. Good goal. That's a... Oh, here we go. I was going to say that is a great way of... of um, getting back in the game. But I don't think it's going to be allowed, personally. Yeah. But promising. Showing that we've got it in us to get back in the game. Back down to fourth now we're losing, but if we win this game we could potentially be second. So the comeback should be on. Free kick to us. Angeli lines it up. What's he going to do? I think this might be out of his range, but we'll see. I think this will be more like... Oh, oh I stand corrected, Getty. <laughs> He's becoming a bit of a free kick specialist lately. 1-0. Um, sorry, 1-1. One, one. Oh, that is typical, isn't it? That's just the kick in the teeth that we don't need right now. Right, Dumas, show me what you got in the middle. Hope I'm hoping he's not out for too long. Because that would be um that would be very bad for our season if he gets injured, he's he's probably our key player, him and Kofi. Lazina Traore. Which Traore is that? Is that the one that used to play for Villa? No, completely different Traore. Play for Ajax and Shakhtar. There's a, there's too many Traores. It's hard to keep up with them all. Right, we're now losing two one. But I feel like we can get back in this game before half time. Hopefully with this highlight now. We're trying to get the right... Yes, get in. Oh, God. Can we not have a goal scored without VAR having to intervene all the bloody time? Get in. So frustrating. Right, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh. oh. I should never get my hopes up in this game. Right, after just getting back into the game, we then bloody concede again. We take off Thierry. Probably need to take off Didot. Didot's playing really bad lately, so his place, he might end up getting sold as, at some point as well. Oh my God, LeBron's playing absolutely terrible. And Paisley. Oh, we can't take any of them off. Um, Berate. Berate. I'm just going to berate anybody that's like playing rubbish at the moment. Berate. Alright, hopefully that'll help. Pinto. Yes! Tonia gets on the score sheet. I think it's his first goal for the senior team. He has got a few goals this season for the reserves. Let's just check. Yeah, seven goals for the reserves, four assists. Hopefully it'll become a first team regular for us. Right, free free. I'll happily take a free free draw at this point. Might have to rest some players after this game because they're all getting knackered, so I might have to send a couple on holiday for a week. Beautiful, beautiful. Go on. Oh, look at that for a pass. Unfortunately there, Kofi got tackled. Lebrun passes it back wisely to the goalie. Paisley has it now. Across to Bastion. Bastion tries and goes down on the left wing. See what he can do with it. Loses the ball, unfortunately. Probably because he's tied the poor bloke. Right, Mugin. 
Oof, testing out the goalkeeper. Right, one last little bit of encouragement. I think this is probably going to be the, one of the, if probably the last highlight of the game. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right, here we go. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd have been so annoyed if they scored that there. I'll take a 3 free draw. Thank you very much. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Sebastian wants a new contract, which is fair enough. I'm going to send you away for a week because you're knackered. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back. We're playing Brest away now. Um, Bastian's obviously not playing because he's basically knackers, I'm giving him a bit of a rest. Patricio is in his place as left back, Pinto is right back. We've got Cluj, a centre back who's played a couple of times for us. Um, with Paisley, by the way, Paisley actually asked us to take him off the transfer list by request. So we've managed to take him off and we've offered him a new contract which will tie him here for the next four years, which is quite exciting because he's only Seven, well, it's 21. By the time he, if that contract expires, if we don't sell him, he'll be like 25. So he'll be in his peak years. But like in the next year or two, if he gets even better, we'll get more interest. Obviously, we've got, and that's quite funny, Brest are after him at the moment. Wolves as well. So uh, we'll just have to see. And then we've got Bullock on the right, Didot in the middle for a change, and Cardon in the, on the left, Kofi up front as usual. We're currently third now. Lens have got Lens and Monaco have got a game ahead of us though. Right, first highlight of the game goes to Brest. Good save. Good header out there. Block drives it forward on the right wing, gives it to Didot. Didot takes his time with the ball, loses it unfortunately though. Corner to Brest. Oh. Headed in by Rugani, former Juventus player. I think. I'm not that bothered to check though, so if it's not, oh, no, do you know what, it will book me, let's check. I think, yeah, definitely, yeah, you don't say you go. I was right. <clears throat> right, Brest have got another free kick. We need to start doing something in this game, get back in it or else we're going to concede again in a second. Uh, I think this is going to be a very convincing loss. Ooh, we're lucky there. Come on, let's get back in the game. Good clearance there by Thierry. It's not out yet though. Leads to nothing. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get back in this game now. We just need one chance, Kofi, finishing it, and we'll score. Didot. Get in. Go on, Didot. Seventh goal of the season for him. Right, 1-1. One, one. That's the way I like it. Let's go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, good save. Right, 1-1. One, one. Coming up to half time. Brest have another bloody highlight.
They're passing it re around really nicely in their defence. Oh, for God's sake, Patricio, what are you doing? You bloody idiot. It's definitely a penalty. I'll be really shocked if it ain't. Yep, there you go. Right, Popal, can you save this one? You saved the last penalty, so you never know. No. 2-1 to Brest just before half-time. Gives us a bit of a mountain to climb now. Right, let's try firing up the players, see if that'll do anything. We've only had one shot the whole game, which is quite concerning. Uh, encourage maybe. Who do we put on, Patricio? Let's put you on. Take Dido off, and we'll put on you. Right, all our subs are used. We've got ten minutes to go. If we get anything out of this game, I think more likely Brest are going to score before we do. They just absolutely destroyed us, and they deserve their win in their defence. They've been the better team. There you go. Game over, everybody. Nothing to see here. Oh, we can take another player off. I'm shocked by that. Okay. Yeah, third. Still third, though, so not too bad. But obviously, Monaco's got a game uh, more than us, so they can easily leapfrog us. All time three one to Brest, which was quite surprising. I didn't think we'd lose to Brest, but right there. Well, last game of the episode coming up in a second. I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back, and it's youth uh, youth intake day. Um, a few of our star players in the making. This he's going to be really good if he's got a potential value of seven million. Fairly ambitious personality, great national, uh, great nat natural fitness. Sorry. Uh, great flair as well, decent technique, teamwork, etc. Only 15 years old, right winger, which is basic. We could do with another right winger, to be honest. And then we've got Alexandre Gerard, 15 year old French mid central midfielder, potential value up to 1.4 million, balanced personality, great bravery, and that's about it, really. But you never know, he'll get trained to be better, I reckon. And then we've got Philippe Pone, 15 year old French right winger, another right winger, fairly professional personality, no real like standout attributes, but good teamwork, good technique, and good acceleration. So, pacey winger by the looks of it. Um, let's have a quick look at him. Lie, Lie, uh, no, Livet Hartok, um, fairly determined, has good braver, great bravery and head in as well. So, Hopefully a natural successor to Paisley if he suddenly goes. Um, Anton Judardin, uh, fairly professional personality, has good dribbling. That's about it really. But the rest are fairly decent. Obviously he will improve over time. Falau Lo, um, left, sorry, uh, left fullback. Fairly professional. I think they're all just fairly professional. No standout attributes. Oh. And then the last one is uh, Jigoi Traore. Jigoi Traore. Professional personality. There you go. At least it's different. Um, left winger and also can play as a wing back. Has good acceleration, decent pace, decent teamwork. So not too bad at all. Just chuck them in there. Paisley is injured for three to five days. They're probably not playing today. Bastian's back though, so that's good. Oh, Paisley is playing, apparently. All right, we're playing Lens, who are currently above us in the league. So if we beat them, we're not going to overtake them, but at least it will get us closer to overtaking them in the league. So that, 
Let's see how we get on. Any surprises in the lineup? Mm, Cardon on the left. I think that's the biggest surprise, I suppose. Other than that, pretty straightforward team. Right. We're in the yellow, they're in the black. See how we get on. Good interception there by Pinto. Gives it to Lebrun. Lebrun back uh so Thierry did Oh, that was a poor pass by Didot. He's not doing well this season, did up. I mean he scored last game, but other than that, he's been playing poorly. Look at that. That hit that mistake led to that goal there. One nil to Lens. Not ideal. Literally less than a minute played. And break the players already. Bad enough. We're sliding down the league and I don't like it. You need to uh, fix up look sharp, lads. Come on. Pint I mean, at this point, Didot's going to be coming off in, in the first 10 minutes at this rate. I will probably look to sell Didot in the summer. I could probably get a decent amount for him as well. Let him be, let him be somebody else's problem. LeBron. Oh. Kofi. Across to Pinto. Pinto manages to get past the player. Can he get the cross in? Oh, that's over the line. Get in. Own goal by the goalie. Couldn't handle the Pinto cross, pass, whatever it was. But yeah, 1-1. One, one. We'll take it. They got a pretty good team, um, Lenza, by the looks of it. Chotard and Kiki Sellers, Somerville. There you go, Moffy. They got Wayhe and Moff Wayhill and Moffy up front. Wayhe, sorry, I was right the first time. Wayhe. That's good. That's good. 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 Bit, a bit of an entertaining game for you lot, though. So that's good. Right, free kick to us. Let's see if we can uh, damage them here. Thierry with the free kick. Oh, just over. We could have probably done with Angeli taking that, but he's not available in this game. Headed out by Cordon, who loses the ball. But yeah, they've got Le Creux as well. They're a very good team, Lens. There's a reason why they're second. Right, is this going to be offside as well? Probably not. It don't usually happen twice. No, didn't think so. Right, I'll break the players again, see if that'll do anything. Did up, let's see if he can actually redeem himself before half time because he's coming off at half time otherwise. He's not the only one that's playing poorly. Um, Biluk as well, Cordon. All our attacking midfielders have been, and our striker, Kofi's not been playing. Oh, Kofi's not been playing well either. Corner to us. Can we get Can we get it back to 2-2 before half-time? Did up with the corner. Headed out. Nah. We're, uh, we're trying though. Just our, our XG is terrible. Right. Triple substitution coming up here now. If it will let me do it. My stupid mouse. Um, have I just put Cluj on up there? No, I did not want Cluj as attacking. Oh, this is so annoying. Right, is any of my central... Do no, typical. None of my right, okay. So that's a waste of substitution now. Right. <sighs> You watch, one of my central defenders will get injured now. Valmy. Let's see if the tactical substitutions make a difference. That's a poor cross by Valmy. Maybe I need to take off Kofi. Oh, quick, cancel. 
<laughs> well done, Kofi. Ah, uh, there you go. Let's see what VL says first. Oh, okay, good. Right, Kofi, you, you can stay on the pitch for now. Yeah, typical. One of my central defenders starts playing poorly. Yes, go on, Kofi. VAR again, as always. I see. Can't get too excited. This one will be disallowed, I reckon. Oh, no, stand corrected. Get in. Great comeback here. 3 2 now. Right, we used up all our substitutions, which is fine. We knew, kind of knew that. Wasted one of them, obviously. Bastion. Uh, oh, no, we got it back. Go on, Pinto. Can we get it to 4-2? That would be nice. Go on, Mugen. Yes, go on, Bastion. Oh, come on, Bastion. It was on a silver plate for you there, mate. Right, Dumas, Mugin. We've absolutely come into the game in the second half. Go on, have another go, Bastion. Ah. I feel like now if we draw, I feel like it's a poor result, really, to be honest. Yeah, well done, Somerville. You run out of pace and then just chip it because you didn't know what else to do. Yeah. That's good. If we keep this victory, we're only two points behind Lens then, which is really good. Come on, let's see the clock out now. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. There we go. Get in. Great little comeback there, lads. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Um, but thank you as always for watching. I do appreciate it. And um, as always, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. So plenty for you to watch. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back soon. All the best. Bye.